Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant, and in this membership site tutorial, I'm gonna be pulling back the curtain and showing you three live examples of membership websites along with five templates that you can copy for yourself. So when you're done watching this video, make sure you check out the link to the Aspire Notebook in the description to download some of the templates we're gonna be going through in this video. So for this video, we're gonna be using Optimize Press, which is my top recommended software for building membership websites on WordPress. So if you're trying to put together your membership website right now, you're not quite sure how to design it, this is the video for you. We're gonna be going through three different styles of membership websites as well as the differences and how to change the design based upon your price point or the type of membership website that you're building. And before we jump into my screen, I wanna go over three quick tips to success for whatever type of membership site you're designing. Number one is keep it simple. Number two is make sure that you're focused on delivering the valuable content that people have purchased for the membership website. You wanna make it very easy for people to find your membership content. And the first set of templates we're gonna be going through are the standard course templates. These are most likely the types of membership websites you're gonna be setting up when you're just getting started. So these typically consist of anywhere from three to five modules, and the price range is about $47 all the way up to $497. And typically the reason that you put together these membership websites is to deliver a one-time course. So this isn't these aren't membership websites that are really designed to have a monthly reoccurring fee. It's just kind of, they pay a lump sum and then they get their course content. So I actually have three different templates to go through for this one. And this first one you can download in the Aspire notebook. So I'm gonna go through the three main pages you really need to have for each one of these. I'm gonna start off with the members login page. And then for the rest of the templates, I'm just gonna go through the home page and the module pages. So it's, it is important that you have a membership login page. And one of the things I want to note is whatever template you wind up using, you want a place for people to sign up, create their account, or log in on the login page. Of course, I always make sure that I have the support email right there so customers can easily contact us and let us know if something's working or if they're having trouble getting in. So that does it pretty much for your login page. It's pretty standard across any type of platform you're using, even if you're not gonna be using Optimize Press. Now, this is a membership sample membership homepage. And there are a couple of elements on the homepage that you really wanna focus on. And number one, the homepage is really there just so you can explain what all of the content is in the membership website. So you really do want a intro video, even if it's only 90 seconds, just telling them what to expect, what they're gonna learn, reiterate what they're gonna learn, and then also talk about where everything is. So this is kind of like a organization and a full table of contents of all of the content in the membership website. So in this template, I have a couple of different options here. You can see on the left-hand side, I just have about the author, then I have navigation links, I have a separate type of navigation links and then another style of about the author. I just put multiple in there so you can delete whichever ones you don't really like. And then I have a section for module lessons. So this is where all of the different lessons would show up so they can easily click to the ones that they need. And then all of the membership downloads. I found that even if you have specific downloads for st specific tutorials or certain modules or lessons, just have a place where they can find everything so they don't have to go clicking and being like, well, what module was that in? So I always just have a master list of all of the downloads for most of my membership websites. And that does it for the home page. And now we can get into the module page. And on the module page, it's really, really easy to overcomplicate this. And you'll see in some of the other templates I'm gonna be going through, you really wanna keep it as simple as possible, right? So here on the module page, you can just see two examples. There are two videos that are talking about how to build a membership website and then the resources for this particular module, and that's it. So this is a very, very basic one. It's just three or five modules, and so you create a page like this for each module. Now the other template download I have for you, this is good if you're just doing a one-off product. So if you're doing a product that's $7 to, I don't know, like 15 or $20, these are just screenshots of a template that you can also download in the Aspire Notebook. Final template I wanna show you for the standard type of membership website is what we put together for the YouTube content machine. This is actually a membership website that we're about to launch in a few months. You can see here, this is the homepage. You have a video that just goes over the entire overarching process makes it really easy. And what we've done is we've actually broken down the steps of creating YouTube content 
in conjunction with the module. So it makes sense where, oh, okay, number one is module one is step one, module two is step number two, module three, step number three, and so on and so forth. It, and it makes it very, very easy for users to go in and look at the different steps they have. And of course, the summary video lets them know what is in each one of these modules. Now, going back to key number three with the importance of being mobile first, I'm actually gonna show you a mobile preview of this, and you'll see that the, on the left-hand side, these navigation functions are going to disappear. So this is what it would look like on a mobile preview. And so you always just wanna be cognizant of what is it gonna look like on a smaller screen. And so if we click on YouTube research, and this is what I really like about Optimize Press, these navigation functions are automatically created. Now, this is an example of a module page inside of our five module course here. You can see we have the main module and this just depends on whether or not how many videos you wanna put in each module. This one, I just did an hour long video for each module. I kept it really simple, keep it simple, of course. And then underneath, instead of having members scroll to see all of the content, I just put it in tabs. So it's really easy to see the overview, the downloads, and then any additional resources. And I do this for each module. So it's very, very easy to find the course content. So I'm just going through this example again, you see additional resources downloads, and then the overview. And that's all there is to it to setting up the module pages. So that does it for the first type of membership website. Again, you can download those first two templates I talked about in the description when you sign up for the Aspire notebook. And this template is actually available in the Optimize Press membership clubhouse. So the next type of membership site I wanna to talk to you about is the implementation program. And these are higher priced membership websites with multiple videos, multiple download types, and a lot of content. It's very important to keep these style of membership sites organized so that you don't overwhelm new users because it's really, really difficult to keep all of this content together. Just to put in some context, this example you're looking at here is about a 12 hour course versus the one we were just looking at was only about six or seven. And so you wanna find a balance between breaking things up into modules and parts and sections versus having one video that's like three or four hours long, which is what we've done here. So if I go into a module page, you'll see that what we've done, instead of having one like two or three hour video, we've broken it up into parts. So there's part one, part two, part three, and then inside each part, there are bite-sized chunks of videos. Now, the reason that this is different than a typical course is this is an implementation program. So it's designed for people to watch one video and then go on to do an exercise. So it's watch a video, do an exercise, watch a video, do an exercise. So you just wanna be cognizant of how people are going to be using your content and interacting with it. Whereas this membership website was more just of overarching, here's what you can do, here's all the information you need to be successful. And then users are kind of picking and choosing what they do or what they ignore. Whereas here an implementation program, and these is this is why these are typically anywhere from $500 all the way up to $1,500, is it's watch, do, watch do. So it's very different than just having a membership website where you're throwing a bunch of information at people. So hopefully that's making sense. Again, this template is also part of the Clubhouse membership, which is the only reason that it's not available for download in the Aspire notebook. But you can see here, there's not a whole lot of complexity to designing the membership websites. It's really just more about ensuring that it's easy for people to find your content. Now, the last one I wanna talk about, we're actually gonna use the Aspire notebook as an example. And of course, if you click the link in the description and download, you get your access to, you don't download anything, get your access to the Aspire notebook for free, you'll be able to see this template in action. And this is the library template. So this is perfect if you have a bunch of content that you want to deliver in a monthly membership package, or actually what I've done here is I've just made it a free private library. So this is where you have a lot of different topics and a lot of different types types of content, whereas the first two were very focused on either implementing to get a specific result or just all around one type of information like YouTube or how to build a membership website like with the first two. So here, instead of breaking down your membership website in steps, you're gonna be breaking down your membership websites by content. So in this particular example, I've developed something called the four digital business quadrants. So I've broken down all of the content by team, content marketing, sales funnels, and products. And so you can scroll through here and you can see that there are different modules and lessons 
for each content category. This wouldn't make sense in an implementation program or normal membership website because there wouldn't be any sequencing or natural progression of steps. Whereas here, this is more like a menu of what do you wanna to learn today or what information or templates are you looking for? So for example, we can go in here, I'll click on content notes and you'll see that it's just a list of all of the different sections and different free modules that are available in the Aspire Notebook. And it allows users to easily pick and choose what they're looking for. So for example, if they want to know about YouTube content marketing, they could click and just like the other styles, you'll see we have the main video and then we have a little bit of information. There's no particular downloads with this one, but if there were downloads, we could put a couple downloads below and there you go, that's it. So that does it for the three main types of memberships. Again, you can download these tutorials in the Aspire Notebook for free. I'll just go back to the homepage here as we finish up. So let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. If you're not quite sure about using Optimize Press or you're not quite sure how to structure your membership website, there is a link in the description to an Optimize Press tutorial where I actually build the templates that I've showed you. And also there's a link in the description to how to outline and structure your membership website for success from a content perspective. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe for more digital marketing tactics and membership building tutorials just like this one. Over on my channel, I'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to be successful selling your digital courses online. So go ahead, hit that like button, comment below if you have any questions. And as always, keep building the business you love.